Hi guys, I've just received this new all-in-one HGLRC F3 V4 flight controller. And what's so unique about it, it has a built-in switchable transmitter. It's either 25, 200 or 600 milliwatt. And it provides an all-in-one solution, which means you have a PDB, flight controller, and also OSD and a transmitter built in inside, which is pretty useful. I haven't, uh, of course, assembled it yet, but it sounds very promising. Along this flight controller, you get in also a couple of standoffs, and you also get in this capacitor, which was not in, uh, mentioned in the description. You can see. If you use a high power motor, we advise you to use the 470 UF electric capacitor from the attached capacitor to avoid the disturbance of external voltage changing. So just connect the plus and the minus. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it or not, but they have included it in this package. Additionally, we're getting all the cables that we need. Getting also this antenna connector. It's a standard connector. I'm going to show you all the connections here, but just it just attaches here. And this is the RPSMA female connector. Also getting this small buzzer. The buzzer port is located here. So you have here the plus and minus. You can put it either on top or on the bottom of the flight controller. And we're also getting this XT60 female port that is going to place here or here, depends on the structure of your quadcopter. The weight of this flight controller is 13.35 grams. And I have here also this HRC F3 version 2.2, which is just without the built-in transmitter, video transmitter, it weighs 9.37 grams, so it's about four grams, the difference is about four grams. And you just can see how it compares to this flight controller. There is no pad for the XT60 here, as opposed, you can see here, this is the pad for the XT60. These are pretty similar. So in about four grams, you're getting also a video transmitter, 600 milliwatts, so I think if this will perform well, which I hope it will, this is, seems that it seems like a very good all-in-one solution. So let me walk through you through all the pores you have on the board. So of course here you have the plus and minus for the XT60 connector. It supports up to it supports up to eight motors. So you have the signals here: S7, S8, S4, S6, S5, S3, and so on. This is the RSSI uh, indicator. You have here the LED. As I mentioned earlier before, you have also the buzzer ports, which are here. You have here five volt. You have also three volt, you have ground. You have another five volt output and ground on the back. And you have also here this switch that turns on and off the video transmitter. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the antenna. It snaps on this connection on the back. By the way, you have also a boot button, which is pretty useful. So you don't have to short any pins. The boot is here, so you can just press it. It will enable you enable you to flash it with your desired clean flight or better flight software. After I've connected this, you can use an RPSMA antenna. And you can use this Fudge Fetchard antenna. I recommend you to buy spare like more of these uh, cables. These are pretty common, can be found in Banggood, AliExpress or Gearbest. And the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug the USB port and it will power on the transmitter. I will show you how to change the channels. On this position, it's gonna be off and here it's gonna be on. 
this indicator will show you the channel. You can switch it by just pressing this button. You can switch the strength of the transmitter, video transmitter, by long pressing this button. When you see two LED lights, it means it's 25 milliwatt. When you see only one LED, it's 200 milliwatt. And when you don't, see, everything is off, it's gonna be 600 milliwatts. If you want to change the band, you have to short press this button. And then again, change between A, B, C, D, and E. So you have in total 40 channels. If you want to switch back to the channels, you have to do it again. So just short press, and then you switch between the eight channels. Again, to change the strength of the transmitter, you have to long press this button. I don't think right now it's working only with the five volts. I think it will not think, I know it will work only when I will plug these connectors. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will use it in one of my next future builds. This uh, flight controller supports SBUS, PPM and also PWM through these ports and all the cables are included. If you have any question, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.